First, I'm going to be taking my coconut oil and I'm going to be using that as a moisturizer for my face and it's going to help my foundation to slide on much smoothly. Now I'm going to be taking my Neutrogena Shine Control Primer and I'm going to be putting that on the oiliest parts of my face, which is mostly my T-zone. And I'm going to be taking my Yes Painter's Brush. I know it's a foundation brush, but that's what I call it, a painter's brush. And I'm going to be applying that nice and evenly and smooth on my face. And also going to be taking my Juvia's Place um, 350. Everything I'm using is going to be down below in the description box. So you can check out everything down there. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Leave a comment down below on what you want to see next. So now I'm going to be taking that and I'm going to be taking my foundation and spreading it on nice and evenly. Getting under my neck, my chin, on my ear because you don't want your ear in your face two different colors. That is not cute. And make sure you get in your pores like right there in your nose because that's not cute either. So this brush right here, this is a buffing brush by Juvia's Place. It is life changing because it works better than a beauty blender at picking up excess product and making sure everything is blended. As you can see, this is really nice. So now I'm taking Creamy Beige and Fawn by LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm taking the lighter one and putting it more on my inner um under eye and i'm going to be taking the fawn and i'm going to be putting it everywhere else to brighten up my face and to give it a natural glow so you see where i'm putting it yeah and if you have a big forehead then don't mind the step of putting um highlighter on your forehead so i have a smaller painter's brush and i use that to just make sure my concealer is nice and even and just you know just I don't know, it does something for me. It does something for my makeup when I use these little painter's brush. So now I'm taking my uh, Real Technique Concealer Brush. I'm going to buff in and it does the same thing as that buffing brush does. It picks up excess product and makes sure that everything is blended very nice and well. So that is a need. Like uh, That's what I have to have to do my foundation. If I want it nice and soft and blended. So I'm taking more of that creamy beige where I feel like I need it and I'm going to, you know, lighten those spots up just a little bit more. Definitely a similar thing I do after a rinse. I don't try to just go full fledged at it first. So I like to build and, you know, buff. Build and buff. So now I'm taking Sasha Buttercup and Kat Von D Translucent Powder. And oh my gosh, one is too light. One is too dark, but they're both amazing. So when you mix them together, da -da -da, you get this nice powder, and it's so great. And I don't bake. I just do a little shake with the brush, you know. And I just set all those high points where I just put that concealer at. So you want to set all of those high points. So now I'm taking my Anastasia Contour Cream Kit in the color Chocolate. And when I make this, this is what I call a fishy face, when you make the fishy face to see where your contour should go, you want to go above that line. So y'all see how I went above the line and I'm blending down and a little bit up. So that's what you want to do. You want to make that fishy face, see where your line is, and go above that line and blend. Like a lot of people go below, and then their face just looks dark and long, and it's not cute. So now I'm going into my Black Radiance Contour Kit. Um, everybody, every black woman should have this because it's such a good bronze and sculpting color, and it blends so nicely. So as y'all see me doing, I'm just setting that and actually giving it more depth with the actual. Um, powder. I'll pick this powder over the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit any day, but I like to use both to get a nice face. So, yeah.
So I like to go in back with that powder combo just to snatch the face more just in case if I've contoured a little bit more down and I need to clear that up. I'll just, you know, put some powder there and buff it off as you see me doing to correct the face. Now I'm going to be contouring my nose and I like to do straight up and down lines and then I like to buff it out at the top with my concealer brush. I do this because a lot of people like to go in with the curvature of their eye, but that makes it look wide and we want a narrow nose. So yeah, straight up and down and then blend at the top so you won't have a harsh line and just blend all the way through so it won't be a harsh line. But y'all see how my nose looks slimmer? yeah that's the trick so now i come back i have lashes eyeshadow gloss on and i did my brows so you can stop here but me i'm extra and i just want extra highlighter like i just want more of a pop so if you want that natural look you can skip this step but i want to use that uh trap palette in those two golden colors which makes a beautiful highlighter like look how beautiful this highlighter is and i'm just doing very light highlighter nothing too crazy because it's still like a you know a soft beat look so we kind of want to keep it there sis now our face is definitely snatched you know what i'm saying i gotta show it off to the girls show you girls the highlight the contour the everything the effortlessness look it looks beautiful right mm. So you can stop here, but me, you know, me, I have to do everything on the makeup list. And I can't forget blush, but for my girls who don't like it, you can skip that step. I'm just going to be taking another Juvia's Place palette. No surprise, no surprise. I'm a Juvia's girl over here. I'm taking that red, brick red and that pink color, and I'm mixing it together. And it's going to be a nice blush look. Look at this. Amazing. You would have thought my, road, like, my cheeks were rosy like that all the time. I'm going to say you would have thought I was rosy. <laughs> what? Yes. So, this completes the look. Thank you, girls and guys, so much for watching. Comment down below what you want to see next. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys at my next video. Mwah.